many people feel this spiritual hunger and think that this is a good thing, or Christians try to cultivate spiritual hunger. But guess what? That's just a symptom. I mean, really, when you think about it, what do you call somebody who's always hungry? When is it actually spiritually healthy to be hungry? I went through a really intense uh, questioning period, a wilderness period in my life where I questioned a lot of beliefs that I had and I was spiritually starving. I did not know how to find things to uh, quench my spiritual hunger and thirst. It was just out of control. Whether you want to call it deconstructing or, you know, it, I, I was looking into some new age teaching. I really had grown up in the church, but I didn't know why I believed what I believed. And I started using the internet and experts and all different kinds of people, everything but the Christian tradition. Let me tell you, there are a lot of people out there with a very low view of religion right now. I don't know if you can tell. And I think this is one of the biggest battles in spiritual warfare is just where people go for information and how they choose to evaluate that information that they find when it comes to satisfying that deeper meaning in their life. In fact, I think many Christians today look at the, the Bible from the lens of the world rather than the world from the lens of the Bible, and then they, they wonder why they're just spiritually hungry. They're starving for a real experience with God and real non-hypocritical spirituality. If we're not intentional about our worldview, then our sinful heart and our self-centeredness takes over. And that's where I see a lot of people on their spiritual journey. It's all this inward diving to try to find answers to questions instead of putting our focus where it really needs to be. We focus inwardly. What we do is we end up any spirituality that we're actually trying to cultivate just makes us hungrier and hungrier because we can't find the answers within ourselves. In fact, the world ones would rather we focus inside ourselves than on the one thing that really matters. Many people feel this spiritual hunger and think that this is a good thing or Christians try to cultivate spiritual hunger. But guess what? That's just a symptom. I mean, really, when you think about it, what do you call somebody who's always hungry. You either call them starving or they have a really unhealthy appetite. Just like that, we can be spiritually starving or just a spiritual glutton. Spiritual hunger is not necessarily a good thing. In the Old Testament, it even talks about hunger as being a tool that God uses to bring people back to him. And it's talking about physical hunger, but you can see that this is also a symbol for spiritual hunger. People were hungry for things like righteousness and wisdom. And well, where do we get those? We get those by putting God first in our life. And in the New Testament, Paul talks about how hunger is something that he had to endure. It wasn't like something that was good. He didn't go searching for it, but it's something that we go through sometimes. In either case, it's not something that we strive for, really. Now, I do want to say this now. Spiritual hunger is normal, and a lot of people are spiritually hungry and go through periods of spiritual hunger. And I think that's a season of life, and it, sometimes it's unavoidable. And in the best-case scenario, that is what's going to bring you back to God. In fact, that's my story. I was so spiritually starving that I, I walked away from everything in my life for a time to go on this self-discovery tour and God finally smacked me over the head with some truth and brought me back to him. He actually started to satisfy my hunger the more I turned to him. And I'm very grateful for that. It even says in Revelation that at one point there's not going to be any more hunger, right? You know, when it talks about in Revelation that all the tears are going to be wiped away, there's not going to be hunger, there's not going to be pain or death anymore. So instead of looking at spiritual hunger like something that we should strive for, I think we need to look at it like a check engine light in a car. So how can we tell if our spiritual hunger is a good thing and if it's leading us back to God or not? Well, I really think that's the key, isn't it? Is our spiritual hunger leading us to focus more internally or is it leading us to focus more externally on God? Is your spiritual hunger giving you the motivation to act, to read your Bible, to go to church, to get back to the Word of God, to get back to God's people? Then it can be a good thing. But I think many Christians need to be aware that their spiritual hunger that they feel when they start deconstructing, when they start, and I'm not talking about questioning your faith. I think it's 100% healthy to wrestle and struggle with your faith and really understand why you believe it. But deconstructing is not that. Deconstructing is just tearing everything apart. In fact, if you're spiritually hungry, I think one of the healthiest things you can do is search for truth, humbly and respectfully. Because if you search for truth, you're going to find your way back to God. 
So I hope that gives you something to think about. And as you look at your spiritual hunger, I want you to ask yourself, are you actually starving? Are you doing things to quench your spiritual hunger, but they're not working? Or are you being a spiritual glutton? Are you trying to fill yourself up with all these different spiritual experiences and and different thoughts and ideas and knowledge, but not putting it into practice? Or are you doing those things in a shallow way that's just not nourishing you? There are lots of different things, going to church, praying, reading God's word, and we can do these things in a way that's bringing us closer to God or taking us farther away from him, actually. We, we can make those things about us. We can be self-centered about those things. So check out this other video that I've got that has three questions to kind of guide your spiritual hunger and, and get you to think about whether your spiritual hunger is taking you closer to God or farther away from him. Like I said, it explores questions that when I look back at my spiritual journey were instrumental in turning me back to God.